Okay, go ahead. Yeah, my name's Hokai. I'm named Arby. Arby? Arby? Yeah, Arby. <laughs> We've been taught, we've been enjoying this Christmas boat together, but also wanted to tell them about Jesus. So I shared Jim's story about how Jim accepted Jesus. I've known Jesus since I was five, and I just felt his presence, so I wanted to share with our new friends about Jesus. And uh, and she she said that uh, she thought it was more imagination, maybe, right? But I said no. Uh, Go ahead, tell them what you think. Okay. okay. I believe it. I I, I can't believe. Somebody will hold you in your dream because you don't you don't uh, remember him or his face. I don't remember his face. I, I just remember he was there and I felt the arms around. I physically felt arms around me, and I sat up because that startled me because I was in bed. And then I knew it was him. And then the feeling afterwards is when you lose someone, there's there's an emptiness, a sadness. And when I sat up, it was gone. It was just it was just love. what church we went to and I let them know the we go to Whole World Gospel it's online you can always look us up and learn more, more about it um, but the most important thing when you read the Bible the Bible talks about the Bible being sharper than any two-edged sword so when you're reading it you, you it's like it comes alive like okay I was telling you about Branson Missouri and I went there and God, gave, God whispered to me saying, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. And every, everywhere we went that day, we, we would be in the back of the line and someone would come back to us and say, you come here and would take us all the way to the front. So we were last, but then he brought, you know, then somebody that worked there would bring us to make us first. So all day long,